Hello everybody, it's time for harmonica class today. Uh, let me go post our web or our link to this class on our website. Our website is mammothgardens.com. And today uh, we're going to be cleaning up the mess from yesterday. Yesterday the sound system did not work properly. I dug around, finally figured out what the problem was. And I've been okay since, and so we're going to cross our fingers that today goes well, and we'll clean up some, we'll grab some of the stuff we did from yesterday as well, um, you know, what we were going to do yesterday, and so we have a chance to make sure everything gets played before Friday for our big concert, and uh, so go to mammothgardens.com, click on the harmonica girl, and she will be delighted to escort you into... The daily workshops that didn't go well. Got that pasted, but didn't do the link. Let me try it again. Hold on. There, 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 and there. Update, update. All right. So now the link is should be working correctly. Let me double check it. Boy, it's running like molasses today. That and click. And all right, harmonica class number 126. All right, there's that. And then I will close this box down and I will go here. And I will type in our website mammothgardens.com. Tweet. Okay, there's that. Perfect. And uh, all right, we're in great shape there. And so let's see who's all logging in. I got everything posted. I think we're in good shape. Crossing my fingers that this sounds good for you guys. Uh, Sandy made it in. Ready? Let's go, she says. <laughs> Ready to rock. <laughs> I like that enthusiasm, Sandy. I've been struggling to find some enthusiasm this weekend. So thank you for that. <laughs> Sound is much better. You want to know, here's how it works. Here's how life works. Um, Microsoft does a system update. It has nothing to do with me, has nothing to do with YouTube, has nothing to do with nothing, right? So the system updates. Then the sound is bad. So my back in the day, my first thought was YouTube is the problem here. Well, YouTube is doing a lot, and they're just going along just fine. Um, so I know no longer to, so I know that that's not going to be working, but I assume that it's either, uh, I assume it has something that I to do with what I can control, which is which microphone, how turn it up, turn it down, adjust that, and you saw me yesterday struggling trying to find solutions to that. Um, no, it's in the camera software. The camera comes with a second mic, you know, it's an independent microphone, and uh you go into the camera setting, you reset it to the to what it's been all along, um, because apparently after the update it goes back to the default setting. And uh, but you can't just fix the the software. You have to close. You have to fix the software. Completely shut the computer off. Re bring it back up, and then everything works fine. So the sound was broken because of the camera <laughs> no there we go anyway we're all set we're all back uh, um, there's no wonder that there comes this point in people's lives when they're like oh, that's it i'm not doing any more technology that's it i had my i had the vcr and then i had the dvd and then we they brought me a computer and then the doggone phone and i'm just over it you know i'm just gonna go have coffee from now on <laughs> Evelyn. Hi, Gary. Uh, Evelyn made it in. It's 64 degrees in Cuenca, and it's about to rain. Been pretty rainy down there, Evelyn. Uh, that's good to, good to hear. Um, I met, uh, We've been getting a tiny bit of snow here in Denver, and um, I really like it. <laughs> Diane, good morning. Uh, my internet is working today. Your voice sounds normal. And yeah, yeah, guys, and y yesterday had nothing to do with you guys. It was 100% on this goofy camera up here. Uh, has 100% on the fact that Logitech cameras can't write software. How about that? 
Uh, Don is in. Good morning, and Don was like, "No, I cannot play uh, with you being a half a step off from me yesterday." Thank you, Don, for straightening us out yesterday. Connie, good to see you. Marsha, good morning, everyone. Sure missed class yesterday. Yeah, I know. We're gonna we're gonna just gonna focus and have an extra good class today. How about that? Fran's in from Southern California. Uh, Patricia is in from Denver, and Christine in from Bozeman. Um, all right, let's play some harmonica. Uh, um, today, what I want to do is I want to um, we'll do our regular warm up song, which is uh, Simple Gifts, right? That's our Wednesday song is Simple Gifts. So grab your Simple Gifts, and then I think what I'll try to do is uh, we'll zip through. We'll replay Edelweiss from yesterday. We'll play Hallelujah. Uh, or I'm sorry, Monday went fine. Uh, Hallelujah yesterday, and uh, and then we'll play. Uh, Home on the Range as well today. Home on the Range, I revised that, so we'll talk about that in just a sec. But grab your simple gifts, and uh, we'll probably play a little bit more than usual just to, to um, deal with the fact that yesterday was a whole lot less than usual. <laughs> All right, simple gifts. Two beat count in. Sorry, three beat count in, two times through, and blow six. One, two, three.
played that one a little on the slow side. I think it sounded pretty. Um, give me a chance to just see if I could develop all the notes fully, and uh, hopefully that's coming out of your harmonica really well. Pauline, welcome in. In from Northern California. Um, there's that. All right. So, um, how are we going to do this? Let's not <laughs> let's not play our scales today. How about that? Uh, yesterday they were a great misery, and let's just go grab Hallelujah from yesterday. Let's let's go play that. Um, <clears throat> we'll skip the scales for today and um, focus in on playing just yesterday's songs as well as today's songs, and then hopefully you'll still have a little bit of time after class to uh, work on your individual stuff. So grab Hallelujah. <clears throat> and I think we might have played this yesterday, but I think it sounded probably so terrible from your end that you're like, that, that's that's not even the same song. <laughs> so let's see if we can make it sound like what you think it was supposed to sound like yesterday. All right. From Zitop. To be counting. Blow four. Let's do it just two times through. You're supposed to do it four times through, so two times is plenty. One. The harmonica writes that up. One, two. one of those songs I don't really like but it does sound uh, does sound pretty good <laughs> on harmonica so yeah we, we try not to judge the song right we just try to be like alright these are the notes I'm going to play the notes as pretty as I can and it's going to be great alright um, let's slide over let's pull up the new version of Home on the Range yours should be dated March 21st which mine is so I'm very excited about that <laughs> um, 
And Marsha says, yeah, yesterday was awful. Yeah, I agree, Marsha. Uh, sounded fine at my house, right? I was absolutely killing it yesterday. You know, it just turns out that you went to running through 27 different computer processors. Uh, it didn't sound so good at your house. Um, all right, Harm Home on the Range, I want to play it both ways. So I'm going to play the diatonic version first, uh, and then I will go through and play the chromatic version. Um, I'm mostly checking for typos, obviously, but uh, um, you, you can play it either way you want also. So if you have a chromatic and you want to play it through twice on chromatic, that's fine. Um, or by, both times on diatonic, that's fine too. I want to play it through the first time on diatonic. And then we'll pause. I will switch instruments. And then we'll play it on chromatic. Um, and again, looking for t typos and making sure that it plays well. Um, of the two, it's going to sound prettier on uh, chromatic. However, it might be more challenging and more interesting to play on diatonic, uh, you know, at the higher pitches and trying to match those. And then, obviously, once you're done w in class here, pull out your G harmonica or your lower harmonica, your lower diatonic one, and see how it sounds, right? And it'll sound nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you right now, this will sound pretty awesome. All right, from the top, I'm going to do diatonic first and then chromatic. One, two. Looks like the typing is all correct. I don't see any uh, typos there. Um, that's the diatonic version in C. Um, and this today, as you're messing around with that, try it a diatonic in G. Uh, play the same tablature, and I think you'll end up with a pretty cool sounding song. Uh, later, after I get a log off here, I'm going to try it on my low F and see how it sounds. Uh, and now the chromatic version is new to new today, right? So let's give it a try. Uh, one, two.
play from 25, major 25, one last time. I think I made a mistake. I don't think there's a typo. One, two. The missing note, right? Hold on, where, where, where am I? <laughs> How come I'm missing a note and it still sounds fine? Three. It's just a minus six that's missing under the second note in major 27 is a minus six. And so that's the only typo I see, guys. <laughs> oh, I only have one typo on a piece of paper. Nice. Um, so I will make a, 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 I will add that minus six in measure 27, and you can decide whether you want to re-download this or not. Uh, but I'll, I'll get that up before Friday. Um, try to do it right after class, as a matter of fact. When you only have one typo, you don't want to just fix it and update it. And so um, I will... Um, get that fixed. I think it plays pretty nice. Um, both of those ways are fun to play. The diatonic makes more sense in the sense it's a cowboy tune, but uh, the uh, chromatic is a whole lot better sounding. Let me just show you what a low F would sound like. I won't play the whole song, but the, this is the lowest harmonic I, diatonic I have. And, it, you know, it'll sound really, really like cowboy stuff, right? One... <laughs> Clean the time to clean the low F. <laughs> Let's try a G. Let's try it. I thought some of you guys have G chord, G, G harmonica. Um. suddenly realize why it's not sounding right. I'm playing the chromatic line. Let me play the diatonic line. It's not the harmonica, it's Gary. So isn't that much easier to get along with on the G harmonica? Um, just, just not quite such a high pitch and uh, so it ends up making you sound really lovely. Let's try it back on Try the low F again. <laughs> oh, brother. Um, from the six, not the three. Go. Where's six? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's this one right here. That's going to sound really cool on that thing. So that's a low F one there, uh, but your G's will sound really nice as well. So again, as you were, um, you know, the government's going to mail you a check, right? Spend your check on new harmonicas. How about that? Uh, just get, ah, who knows? Let's see. John said. John says sounds like uh, I'm laid back on my next to the campfire and serenading the horses, right at home on the range. So John's hitting it. John's hitting it by in spades. Nice, nice home run there, John. Uh, sounding good o over there. Let's see. Uh, good to see you, by the way, John. All right. So then yesterday we were going to try to play Leaving on a Jet Pool. No, we were going to try to play La Vie en Rose. And we need to play that. Cause, so grab your diatonics if you're, if you're, or grab your chromatics. If you're diatonic only, you're set for the day. Go off and, and play for a little while and then uh, head on out to uh, take care of life. Um, we are going to grab our chromatics and we're going to play La Vie en Rose. 
Um, and those of you guys remember here when we did this the first time, this is what harmonica is supposed to be about. So uh, my update is February 15th, and the, that's the one I got. So let's see how we do. La Vie en Rose. Let's do it two times through. Let's do, uh, yeah, the second time through, skip 23 and 24, obviously. And um, you're going to blow eight. One, two, three, four.
two, three, four, blong. <laughs> Forgot to count out the final measures. Um, plays just fine, you guys. It's really, really a nice piece of music. A little bit higher on the chromatic. A lot of times, you know, we're working on the lower end of the home chromatic. This one we're working on the higher end. Another just great opportunity for you to see how pretty of tones you can get out of that upper part of the harmonica. Really, really love that piece of music. So, um, yeah, nice work. Um, all right. And then finally today, let's go grab Leaving on a Jet Plane, which we updated. I updated in uh, February, and I don't think we've had a chance to play it since it was updated. So let's go take a look at it. You will remember that it is a diatonic song, uh, but it was just hanging around uh, eights and nines almost throughout the whole entire piece, and you're just like, this is this is too high pitched. So I put it on chromatic, dropped it down quite a bit, and and I don't think we played it since then. So uh, that'll be fun to give it a try. Let's see what happens here. Um, let's see. By the way. Uh, John, did you feel like you were uh, when you, when you laid back on a saddle uh, next to a campfire before? Did that one feel like you were sipping a cappuccino in a uh, left bank, the left bank, west bank, left bank, left bank, uh, Parisian cafe? <laughs> um, you know, John, being a soy farmer, uh, spends a lot of time in Paris probably uh, and, want, and needs to fit in, you know, bring his beret. All right, leaving on a jet plane. I'm just babbling. From the top, three beat count in, uh, and then uh, this doesn't. It has a repeat down there at measure thirty, um, and then it goes to measure seventeen. So it doesn't come all the way to the top. We play the first page once, and then the second page you're going to end up playing that twice. Okay, let's give it a try. From the top, one, two, three. from measure 17 one two three
All right, the notes are right. My playing of them was pretty iffy today. <laughs> so we'll clean that up. Hopefully by Friday I'll be able to do a little better job on that. Whew, I'm out of air, guys. Did we do okay? Everybody alive? <laughs> Simply, so we played a lot of music today, uh, and you still have 10-15 uh, minutes uh, to work on some stuff on your own. So I hope you take advantage of that. Um, it turns out you're probably not sitting around the kitchen table playing harmonica because uh, wh whoever else lives in your house, they will want to stab you. And um, I don't want to have any um, any domestic disturbances as a result of playing harmonica. So use this next 15, 20 minutes to your advantage. And tomorrow, uh, Thursday already, goodness sakes, when the Saints go marching in, uh, we will go back to playing our scales tomorrow. Uh, we have a revised version of Love Me Tender and a revised version of Daisy Bell after last week. Uh, we have found some problems with those, so we'll knock both of those out tomorrow. And then Over the Rainbow, guys, you know that one. That's about a five-minute long song. And you, when you're done with that, you feel like you got beat up just a little bit. And so we'll be playing that one as well. And um, and then Friday, look at that concert we have set up for Friday. You Are My Sunshine, Edelweiss, Hallelujah, Home on the Range, Love Me Tender, Daisy Bell, It's Only in Paper Moon, La Beyond Rose, Leaving on a Jet Plane, and Over the Rainbow. That is a brilliant concert. That's like world-class music top to bottom. So... Uh, I'm trying to think, are any of these stupid? Well, I'm not a fan of Hallelujah, but the rest of it, everything else in there is pretty legit. By the way, John, you should be feeling like you're, ha uh, let's see, you're probably feeling like you're sitting in Aspen now after playing Leaving on a Jet Plane, hanging out with, uh, uh, who's the guy? John Denver. <laughs> I don't know what John Denver did. He Oh, he had a glass of wine, probably. He has having a glass of wine up in Aspen, so... There we go. Evelyn, good to see you. Thanks for being here today. Leaving on the jet plane on the chromatic is so much sweeter. Yeah, it really works. It works, right? Um, you don't get to push the button, but other than that, it's it's nice. Uh, Patricia, good to see you. That was fun. Uh, Sandy, good practice. Thank you. Good job, Sandy. Uh, keep, keep your positivity moving. I need that. Fran, thanks. Uh, see you at 1 o'clock. Uh, Marsha, thank you. You're welcome, Marsha. Thanks for being here always. Connie, you as well. And Fran, uh, now my cat has joined in with, what is Fran's name? With, cat has joined in with, oh, she hates it to the top of the harmonica. <laughs> so the cats and the dogs at Fran's house are getting ready to go on revolt. <laughs> Give them a hug, Fran. And tell them it's, it's only 45 minutes a day. Diane, good to see you. I'm going to pull the plug, you guys. Have a wonderful day. Uh, I'll see some of you in our ukulele. The rest of you I will see tomorrow. Thanks, Don. <laughs>